Apabio sources expose how much token was sent to senators for holiday, where it came from. Sources in the National Assembly have exposed how much token was sent to each senator for them to enjoy their holiday. Senate President Gozu Apabio made news headlines on Wednesday after he mistakenly exposed on live television that the lawmakers would be getting a takeaway for their recess. Apabio revealed that a token had been sent to the lawmakers to enjoy their holiday, a comment that raised eyebrows at the Senate's plenary. Recall that the Red Chamber on Monday concluded the screening and confirmation of President Bola Tinubu's ministerial nominees thereafter adjourned the plenary to September 26. Addressing his colleagues before the adjournment motion was moved, Apabio said a token, what many interpreted to mean money, had been sent by the clerk of the National Assembly, Magadji Tambuao, to the senators to enjoy their holidays. However, the Senate President was quickly informed by some principal officers that he was on live television and speaking before the reporters. Upon realizing his mistake, Apabio swiftly withdrew his statements and said prayers had been sent to their mailboxes to assist them on a safe journey and return. Sources that reportedly spoke with Sahara reporters, however, alleged that two million was sent to each of the senators for the recess. The sources further alleged that a ministerial nominee had given Apabio one billion to share with the lawmakers. It was gathered that the senators of the 10th National Assembly are upset that Senate President Apabio exposed that they will be getting a token perceived as bribe money from the ministerial screening. A source in the Red Chamber said the aggrieved senators are unhappy about the ridicule and embarrassment the former Akwaibom governor's unguarded statement has brought to them. Sahara reporters quoted the source as saying the lawmakers described Apabio's action as blackmail to ensure they receive the stick from their constituents for a paltry sum while he had pocketed the bulk of the alleged bribe money paid to them. Senators are upset with Apabio for exposing the bribe money they got from a screening. Paltry 2 million was sent to each of them and they are now angry that now Nigerians know how they are bribed to allow ministerial nominees to take a bow and go. The Senate President collected over 1 billion from the screened ministers and sent only 12 million to the accounts of each 109 senators, totaling 218 million, another source added. According to the source, Apabio did not disclose to the senators the source of the 2 million each sent to their accounts, but what he did, according to them, was to blackmail the senators on Monday night and in an open live television cast that money had been sent to the accounts of senators for the holidays. Then the following morning, senators received 12 million naira each in their accounts, while the Senate president pocketed hundreds of millions of naira. What a shame! and the highest treachery and blackmail by the Senate President. Senators are getting ready for a battle with him because this has pitched Senators against their constituents who never knew that they were given only 2 million each for the so-called allowance for holidays, the source alleged. Well, what are your opinions on this? Make sure to leave them in the comments down below and don't forget to like and subscribe and make sure to share this video with your family and friends so that they know what is going on and they can give their own opinion on this. Now let's see what other people have to say about this.
imagine they are not up to three months and see what is happening tell me why military will not take over i hope ECOWAS is hearing this if military take over now they will come out to intervene let them intervene now they are all that is left they are all thieves god will punish any ECOWAS leader that will come to intervene if military takes over government they are sharing money when people in Nigeria are suffering. Well, these people have all given their opinions on this. Make sure to leave your own opinions in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And make sure to share this video with your family and friends so that they know what is going on and they can give their own opinions on this.